In computing, type introspection is the ability of a program to examine the type or properties of an object at runtime. Some programming languages possess this capability. Introspection should not be confused with reflection, which goes a step further and is the ability for a program to manipulate the values, metadata, properties and or functions of an object at runtime. Some programming languages, e.g. Java, Python and Go, also possess that capability. Examples <laughs> 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 Topic Ruby. Type introspection is a core feature of Ruby. In Ruby, the object class ancestor of every class provides object hashtag instance of and object hashtag kind of methods for checking the instance's class. The latter returns true when the particular instance the message was sent to is an instance of a descendant of the class in question. For example, consider the following example code you can immediately try this with the interactive Ruby shell. In the example above, the class class is used as any other class in Ruby. Two classes are created, A and B, the former as being a superclass of the latter, then one instance of each class is checked. The last expression gives true because A is a superclass of the class of B. Further, you can directly ask for the class of any object, and compare them. Code below assumes having executed the code above. <laughs> Objective C In Objective C, for example, both the generic object and NS object in Coco, OpenStep provide the method asmemberoff class, which returns true if the argument to the method is an instance of the specified class. The method iskandoff class analogously returns true if the argument inherits from the specified class. For example, say we have an apple and orange class inheriting from fruit. Now, in the eat method, we can write now, when id is called with a generic object and id, the function will behave correctly depending on the type of the generic object. Topic C++ C++ supports type introspection via the runtime type information (RTTI), typeid, and dynamic underscore cast keywords. The dynamic underscore cast expression can be used to determine whether a particular object is of a particular derived class. For instance, the typeid operator retrieves a std type underscore info object describing the most derived type of an object. Topic: <laughs> Object Pascal. Type introspection has been a part of Object Pascal since the original release of Delphi, which uses RTTI heavily for visual form design. In Object Pascal, all classes descend from the base object class, which implements basic RTTI functionality. Every class's name can be referenced in code for RTTI purposes. The class name identifier is implemented as a pointer to the class's metadata, which can be declared and used as a variable of type T class. The language includes an as operator, to determine if an object is or descends from a given class, an as operator, providing a type checked typecast, and several topject methods. More deeper introspection enumerating fields and methods are traditionally only supported for objects declared in the $m plus a pragma state, typically t-persistent, and only for symbols defined in the published section. Delphi 2010 increased this to nearly all symbols. <laughs> Java The simplest example of type introspection in Java is the instance of operator. The instance of operator determines whether a particular object belongs to a particular class or a subclass of that class, or a class that implements that interface. For instance, the java.lang.class class is the basis of more advanced introspection. 
For instance, if it is desirable to determine the actual class of an object rather than whether it is a member of a particular class, object.getClass and class getName can be used. Topic <laughs> PHP. In PHP, introspection can be done using instance of operator. For instance. Topic Perl. Introspection can be achieved using the ref and isa functions in Perl. We can introspect the following classes and their corresponding instances using topic meta object protocol. Much more powerful introspection in Perl can be achieved using the Moose object system and the class, MOP Meta Object Protocol. For example, this is how you can check if a given object does a role X. This is how you can list fully qualified names of all of the methods that can be invoked on the object, together with the classes in which they were defined. Python The most common method of introspection in Python is using the dir function to detail the attributes of an object. For example, also, the built-in functions type and isInstance can be used to determine what an object is while Hisatr can determine what an object does. For example, in Python 2 but not Python 3, declaring class foo instead of class foo object will result in type returning the generic instance type instead of the class. Topic: <laughs> ActionScript as 3 In ActionScript, the function flash.utils.getqualifiedClassName can be used to retrieve the class type name of an arbitrary object. Or alternatively, in ActionSypit, the operator as can be used to determine if an object is of a specific type. This second function can be used to test class inheritance parents as well. Topic: <laughs> Meta type introspection. Like Perl, ActionScript can go further than getting the class name, but all the metadata, functions and other elements that make up an object using the flash.utils.describeType function, this is used when implementing reflection in ActionScript. See also Reflection computer science Reification computer science